Rotorua is known as the adventure capital of North Island, and it definitely lives up to its name. Here are the 11 top things to do in Rotorua, New Zealand. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal a lesser known attraction many tourists often miss at number one. Number 11, take a tour of Volcanic Hills Winery. What's a visit to New Zealand without stopping to sip the delicious local wine? You just have to agree that this would only amount to losing the opportunity of a lifetime. This is especially as the Volcanic Hills Winery sits high on the slopes of Mount Gangataha, where you can easily treat yourself to the tasty Pinot Noir or Sauvignon Blanc. Of course, this is also a great opportunity to get some of the finest views in Rotorua firsthand. Over at the winery, the hosts are super friendly and you can get various samples from this award-winning winery. So if you've been searching for one of the best places to taste New Zealand's local wine, it doesn't get any better than the Volcanic Hills Winery. Plus, views out of the large windows at this winery include the stunning spread of the lake and vast hills that stretch as far as the eyes can see, which means you'll also get to enjoy breathtaking views while tasting some of the best wines you've ever had. Number 10. Boat Trip on Lake Rotorua Lake Rotorua is the second largest lake on North Island, and it sits right in the crater of a volcano. Luckily, this volcano has been extinct for a long time, so you don't have to worry about any eruptions while you're cruising around in your boat. The city of Rotorua sits on the shores of this lake, so it's only fitting that they share the same name. Let's start with how picturesque the lake itself is. You could stare at the shimmering water for hours and never get enough of the beauty. In some areas, Lake Rotorua is only 30 feet deep, and these regions usually change color, which is a plus to its beautiful allure. You can choose to go kayaking or swimming in the waters, or even engage in tons of other recreational activities around this lake. Rest assured that it will provide an experience like you've never had before. Number 9. Go White Water Rafting it is already established that there's no shortage of fun for adrenaline junkies in Rotorua as there are many activities to keep you engaged here. For instance, you can head over to the Kaituna River for an exhilarating whitewater rafting experience through the rushing rapids in the warm waters. This wild ride will take you through three waterfalls that are nothing short of breathtaking before launching into calmer waters. So, if you're up for a challenge, sign up for a white water rafting adventure with River Rats, which will take you through Grade 5 Rapids. Of course, you'll have to get through about 20 minutes of training before getting into your boats, but you can rest assured that it is totally worth it. Number 8. Visit the National Kiwi Hatchery If you're interested in birds, Rotorua, New Zealand is the perfect spot to view cute little kiwi birds up close. All it takes is a visit to the National Kiwi Hatchery in the Rainbow Springs Nature Park, where you'll get to see a peak of beautiful baby kiwis. This hatchery is so good that Royals, Harry, and Megan had to stop by to view the kiwis on their trip to New Zealand. What's more, you can choose to explore this hatchery with a tour company, and they'll send an experienced guide to take you through everything you need to know about this conservation center. However, if you prefer to do it on your own, then feel free to enjoy the scenery as you take amazing pictures of life at the hatchery. Number 7. Waikite Valley Thermal Pools About 19 miles outside of Rotorua is the Waikite Valley Thermal Pool, which features hot springs that will be sure to give you a relaxing experience. Well, while there are other hot springs in this city, this particular one is highly recommended for tourists, especially because of its tranquil location. The thermal pool is located within a gorgeous valley surrounded by amazing plants that will give you a true feel of the beauty of nature as you step into it. No doubt, the thermal bath is the perfect spot to unwind after a long day. To truly enjoy the scenery, I recommend that you take a walk from the Waikite Valley Thermal Pools through some simple trails that will lead you to the surrounding countryside. While at it, ensure to explore everything about the serene environment. You might just be in for a few pleasant surprises. Number 6. Witness the Beauty of Tapuya of course, there's room for those who have a natural appreciation for the arts and who love to explore the beautiful works of both local and international artists in this town too. For instance, Tapuya is home to the Maori Arts and Crafts Institute, where you'll learn a thing or two about creativity. This region also hosts the majestic Pohutu Geyser, which is nowhere short of fascinating. Plus, since it erupts at least 20 times a day, there's a huge chance that you'll witness this spectacular occurrence. Obviously, it provides a pleasant contrast with its wild and rugged scenery. The Maori Arts and Crafts Institute also includes traditional Maori song and dance performances, 
which are both impressive and a lovely way to learn about the local culture. So ensure to explore the beautifully recreated village and end your day with an interesting cultural show that will reveal lots of myths and legends about Maori. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Go biking at the Whakawera Wera Forest Perhaps you don't mind going mountain biking, then the perfect spot for you is the Whakawera Wera Forest. This paradise, which is located on the southeast edge of Rotorua, will take you to an unforgettable adventure with its entertaining tracks that are perfect for all skill levels. So whether you're highly experienced or just a beginner, there's something for you. While here, you should also take your time to enjoy the scenery, which is so great that the International Mountain Biking Association awarded it a Gold Level Ride Center status. As soon as you get to the tracks, you can rent a bike and all the necessary equipment, including a map to help you get the best out of mountain biking through the Whakawerawera Forest. Undoubtedly, this activity will supply a lot of adrenaline to last you for a long time. Number 4. Go Lujing Lujing has been a popular activity in Rotorua for more than three decades, and it's not fading out of existence anytime soon. Also, this is definitely a must-do activity in Rotorua anytime you come visiting. So what exactly is it all about? Well, with this activity, you'll be riding a luge that looks like a cross between a toboggan and a go-kart. While on it, you can take full control of the speed and steering since it's dependent on gravity. However, you should start with the simplest track before moving up as your confidence level increases. If you're visiting with your kids, they can ride with you as well. And this makes this place the perfect fun spot for the entire family. Number 3. Explore the Blue Lake The Blue Lake, which is known officially as Lake Tikitapu, is a must-see in Rotorua and there are tons of ways to make the most out of your visit here. Well, you can start by taking a short hike to the lake and relax by the stunning waters for a picnic. The path to the lake is super easy to follow and should be completed in less than two hours. Of course, you shouldn't miss out on this beautiful walk that gives you time to collect your thoughts and truly enjoy the beauty all around you. If it's summer, then that's the best time for you to take a dip in the Blue Lake, so be sure to pack your bathing suit. For some extra fun, hitch a ride to Lake Tarawera, which is only 10 minutes away from the Blue Lake, and it is certain to take your experience a notch higher. Number 2. Bathe in the Mud at Hell's Gate Of course, this is not the entrance to the famous Hellfire. Instead, it only got this exciting name from George Shaw, who took one look at the boiling mud in front of him and called this place the very gates of hell. Well, the name has stuck ever since. No doubt, the wonders of this boiling mud will be enough to leave you with a huge appreciation for Mother Nature. However, the mud is just warm enough to soak in for a while, and the locals use this for medicinal purposes as well. For them, its waters are great for cleansing their skin and easing inflammation. You should definitely try it out too. However, if you're not excited about the idea of a mud bath, you can instead walk through the geothermal reserve to get up close and personal with the active mud volcano. Rest assured, you will be fascinated regardless. Number 1. Take a Zipline Tour with tons of positive reviews on Google. It's only fitting that you join in on one of the zipline tours by the Rotorua Canopy Tours in New Zealand. However, the canopy tour you'll join depends a lot on how much thrill you can take and, of course, your budget. Regardless of your choice, though, you'll have an awesome experience. The main tour takes about three hours as you zip through 2,000 feet of pure native forest and marvel at the local flora and fauna from the skies. Indeed, you shouldn't miss a chance to get your adrenaline pumping with this adventurous ride. Click here for more things to do in New Zealand.